In the news, Governor Ododori State commitment to security of lives, property of Kogi citizens. Central Bank of Nigeria sacks eight directors, 32 orders in ongoing restructuring. Senegal's president orders Prime Minister to draw urgent economic action plan. And in sports, Super Falcons qualify for 2024 Olympics in Paris. This is the MLC TV Global News, reaching you live from the city of Lokoja, the confluent state of Nigeria. I am Joshua Adenoy. Thanks for joining us. Kogi State Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo has assured of his commitment to ensuring the lives and property of the citizens of the state are well secured. Governor Ododo gave the assurance after observing prayers at the Eid Prayer Ground in Okene, Kogi Central Senatorial District. The governor who appreciated Allah for the successful completion of the 2024 Ramadan appealed to the citizens of the state to embrace peace and work together as a united people for the progress of the confluent state. He said his administration will deal with the recent upsurge of security breaches in some parts of the state, calling on those who are bent on causing havoc to desist. The governor who commended President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for his exemplary leadership in the country assured that his administration is committed to providing enabling environment for everyone in the state. Governor Dodo stated that his administration will continue to work for the peace, progress and prosperity of the people, emphasizing that he was elected to serve in the interest of the people. The governor urged the people to use the occasion of each celebration to reflect on the spiritual growth attained by individuals and families in the last 30 days of the 2024 Ramadan and continue to practice all the characters portrayed during the holy month. Governor D. Kurada of Kistina State has released 222 inmates from correctional facilities across the state. The release was in a bid to give them a second chance to rewrite their wrongs. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Ibrahim Kaula Mohammed, explained that the released inmates were those who were unable to pay the fines imposed on them by courts. Speaking about the development, Kestina State Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General, Fadila Mohammed Diko, said the initiative will go a long way in decongesting the custodial centers in the state. The Director General, Kogi State Government House Administration, Dr. Umar Oricha Shwaibo, has congratulated Muslims on the successful completion of the holy month of Ramadan, set aside early to seek the face of Allah. Dr. Oricha, while speaking at the Anyebo Eid prayer ground in Lokoja, the state capital, prayed to Allah that the completion of the fast leads to peace and well-being for the world, country Nigeria, Kogi State, the Islamic world, and the whole of humanity. The Kogi State Head of Service, Elijah Evenemi, has congratulated the state workforce, especially the Muslim faithful, on the successful completion of the 2024 Ramadan and Eid al-Fitri celebration. Evenemi, in a statement, urged the workers to imbibe the lessons of sacrifice, patriotism, and generosity practiced during the holy month. He assured the state workers of the commitment of government of Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo to providing the necessary tools that will make the workplace more conducive for all workers. As Muslims the world over celebrate the 2024 Eid al-Fitr, the Chief Medical Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Reference Hospital, Okene, Professor Solomon Avidime, has felicitated with the Kogi State Governor, Ahmed Usman Ododo, and the entire Muslim community in the state for witnessing this year's celebration. A statement by the Head of Media and Publicity Unit of the hospital, Abigail Oyenibi, explained that Professor Avidime prayed to Allah to accept the ibadah and sacrifices of the Muslim Umar, urging Muslims to sustain their lessons learned during the Ramadan period. He noted that the Ramadan was a period of abstinence, sacrifice, and devotion, which should be sustained for the benefit of the people in the society, adding that the virtues of humility, sacrifice, and love as taught by the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him, 
should always reflect in the lifestyle of the people for a better society. As Muslims celebrate the 2024 Eid al-Fitr, Omadi Isa, chief of staff to former deputy governor of Kogi State, Simon Achuba, has charged the citizens of the state to sustain their prayers and lessons learned during the month of Ramadan. Omadi, in a statement, congratulates Muslims on the completion and successful celebration of the Eid al-Fitr, wishing Muslim faithful, joy, filled with great blessings, and charged them to continue to pray for the success of the administration of Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo. Omade, who expressed optimism in the administration of Governor Usman Ododo at bringing the needed results, said the steps taken by the governor in alleviating the sufferings of Kogites upon assumption of office was a clear indication that the Ododo-led administration in the days ahead will witness all-around development. He charged Muslims to use the significance of the occasion to promote unity and peace in the nation and Kogi state. The Stand Up for Women Society, SWS, has congratulated Muslim faithful on the completion of the 2024 Ramadan. SWS International President Barrister Deborah Ijadele Adetono, in a statement by the National Public Relations Officer of the Association, Billy Nwogu, sought more support for those in authority, especially the President of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Barrister Deborah called on Nigerians to live by the lessons learned during Ramadan and also called for continued love for neighbors, irrespective of religion, class, tribe, or language. She equally condemned recent attacks in some communities across the nation, Nigeria, and advocated for adequate security of lives and property of the citizens, as she also prayed to God to reward the Muslims with all the rewards the Holy Month came with. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Insom Wike, has ordered the immediate closure of the Abuja International Conference Center in Abuja. Wike, who announced the closure after inspecting the facility, cancelled all events and activities booked at the venue. The closure, he said, was due to poor maintenance and also queried why the contract for the maintenance of the edifice was handed over to what he described as incompetent company. The minister said the facility will be shut for eight months to give room for proper renovation that will befit the country, pointing out that the state of the facility calls for urgent attention to reposition it. He noted that the contract for the comprehensive renovation of the International Conference Center had been awarded to Julius Berger for eight months as the facility will be handed back to the Abuja Investment Company Limited after the renovation. We go on a short break now. We'll be right back. It's new, fresh and hygienic. It's Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil. Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil is hygienically processed to nourish our bodies. Contains the most needed nutrients for healthy living. Umzi Soya Oil has omega-6, iron, zinc, and vitamins E and K, among others, that help to maintain cholesterol levels, strengthen the immune system, healthy bones, improve skin health, and many more. It does not foam, fume, or congeal. It is a refined cooking oil for consumers, retailers, and wholesalers. To buy Umzi Soya Oil, quickly go to Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil Station along Shetima Barracks Road, beside Otokiti Estate Gate. With Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil, you and your family are more healthy and stronger. For more information, please call 0706-7213-4171 or 0806-058-0048. Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil. Satisfying customers at a reduced cost. Buy Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil today and thank me later. Umzi Soya Oil, option for high heat cooking with health benefits. Welcome back. Roofs of over 100 houses have been taken off by rainstorm that wreaked havoc in Iyara community, headquarters of Ijimu local government area of Kogi State. Report says affected residents of the community are now counting their losses following the Sunday night rainstorm, as some 
are currently taking shelter with neighbors, families and friends. Speaking shortly after embarking an on-the-spot assessment of the damage done, the Eleta Uluyara of Iyara, Oba Jacob Meduteni, described the disaster as unfortunate and called on well-to-do individuals and corporate bodies to assist their victims to ameliorate their sufferings. The National President of Iyara Development Association, IDA, Aliu Badaki, said over 1,000 persons have been affected by the disaster, mostly women and children, and appealed to the state government through their state emergency management agency, SEMA, and the federal government via the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to come to the aid of the victims. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Yemi Kadoso, has sacked a fresh batch of 40 staff, mostly from the Development Finance Department, DFD, in forbearance of its ongoing restructuring. According to reports, deputy directors and assistant directors were mostly affected with 22 from the DFD and the remaining 18 from the Medical and Procurement Services Department. Among those affected were 8 directors, 10 deputy directors, 5 assistant directors, 2 principal managers, and 2 senior managers. On health matters, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, has confirmed the outbreak of a disease of unknown origin in Sokoto State. The Director General of the agency, Dr. Jide Idris, said so far a total of 164 suspected cases have been identified in six wards in the ISA local government area, noting that four deaths have been recorded among the suspected cases. He said the agency was notified by the Sokoto State Ministry of Health on March 21st of reported cases of children presenting with symptoms of abdominal distension due to rapid onset of fluids in the abdomen, fever, vomiting and weight loss from ISA. Dr. ISA said the NCDC deployed a national rapid response team to work with the State Ministry of Health to further investigate and respond to the incident, explaining that a similar incident was previously documented in 2023 also without a definitive diagnosis, adding that those affected are receiving treatment at various health facilities. On the foreign scene, Senegal's president, Basiro Diomaye Faye, has asked his prime minister to draw up an urgent action plan to strengthen the country's flagging economy and finances. A statement from the president's office explained that the 44-year-old Faye during his first cabinet meeting, gave his prime minister and former mentor, Osman Nesonko, until the end of the month to draw up the action plan. He ordered Sonko to carry out a general review of programs and plans and report on the general situation of the public finances, international cooperation, and public-private partnerships. He said he was elected to ensure a profound breakaway and a transformation at all levels of economy and social life, assuring the citizens of the country that he will live up to expectations. In sports, the Super Falcons of Nigeria has qualified for the women's football event of the 2024 Olympic in Paris after playing a goalless draw with South Africa at the Loftus Verfeld Stadium, Pretoria, on Tuesday. Taking a 1-0 lead into the encounter from the first leg in Abuja on Friday, the Falcons, who have never lost on South African soil, knew they must avoid a defeat to end their 16 weight, and they did just that to silence the home crowd. The qualification means the 11-time African champions will participate at the Olympics for the first time since Beijing 2008. Victor Osimen and Samuel Chukwese have been included in the Serie A Team of the Week. The Team of the Week was compiled by Football Facts and Statistics website, whoscored.com. Chukwese was said to be impressive for AC Milan, who trashed Lesser 3 0 
at the sum zero as the Super Eagles forward marked his impressive performance with an assist for Milan's opener scored by Christian Pulisic on six minutes. The 24-year-old has now taken his assist tally in the Italian top flight to two in 19 games. For Napoli, it was a return to winning ways in their 4-2 triumph at Monza after going four consecutive games without recording a victory. On hand to help them end the winless run was Osimen, who scored a spectacular header, making it his 12th goal in 19 league appearances for the Serie A champions this campaign. On a sad note, a former federal lawmaker who represented Angpa, Olamaboro, and Omala federal constituency of Kugi State from 2011 to 2015, Mohammed Ibrahim Idris, is dead. The former lawmaker who was a son of the former governor of Kugi State, Ibrahim Idris, reportedly slumped and died on Wednesday in his house in Abuja shortly after returning from the Eid praying ground where he joined other Muslim faithful to observe the two rakats Eid al-Fitr prayer. He has since been buried according to Islamic rites at the Gudusi Metri, Abuja. May his soul rest in peace and may Almighty God give his parents the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. And that is the size of our package for today. Do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Malakite TV. Like and follow our Facebook pages, MLC TV, MLC TV2, MLC TV Yoruba, and Ebiravabe MLC TV. Instagram, MLC TV 2021, X handle Malakite TV, and TikTok, Malakite underscore TV. For your event coverage, appearance on any of our programs, contributions, comments, advert placement, or sponsorship, Please call or send SMS to any of our numbers displayed on your screen. Join Malakite TV online on weekends to watch our various programs. Saturday 7 p.m. Political Arena, Sunday 6 p.m. Women's World, and Monday 9 a.m. The Opinion. It's Malakite TV, reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Please continue to be a brother's keeper to build a happier and better society together. I am Joshua Adenoy. Thanks for watching.